Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts YouTube channel. I am here to discuss with you a less understood topic that is Harker diagram. This is a very important topic of igneous petrology if we consider both IIT jam and gate or net exams. So I am going to briefly discuss this diagram, particularly this diagram with you and you will understand this point by point. So this is the diagram and what does it tell you? This is a bivariate plot of the chemical constituents important major elements of any igneous province and for this diagram particularly this diagram is of the crater lake of Mount Muzama so there was this scientist who took 310 samples he plotted all the data all the compositions major elements of the, those 310 samples and plotted all the major elements such as alumina alkalis iron oxide magnesium oxide with the silica now why did he choose why did he choose silica as the reference because silica is actually telling you the time frame or it crystallizes at the last if we look at the bovens reaction series we are going to take a help of this bovens reaction series which is the basis of crystallizing magma or crystallizing minerals from a magma in a crystal in a crystallization igneous system so he chose SiO2 as his, as his reference because SiO2 crystallizes at the end so this is going to be a very good reference for the time in the crystallization history of different elements now without wasting any time let's get started so we are going to analyze all these major elements and first we are going to start with FeO and MgO now you see all the points are the data points which he took and plotted against the SiO2 now in geology we, we know that nothing is as perfect as any straight line so we had to or he had to actually fit a best fit curve as you can see is mentioned by the pink line in this diagram but you can very well see the trend going on if it is a decreasing trend you can very well find find it there you'd see a different trend and here you see all together an increasing trend so the best fit curve gives the best analysis out of this so let's start with the FeO and MgO first now you see both of these minerals are very important constituents of olivine a nesosilicate which crystallizes in the first when a magma a mafic magma crystallizes right so why are we seeing this decreasing trend of FeO and MgO this is quite understood that these two minerals FeO and MgO these two elements are going in olivine they are being crystallized and are being deposited in olivine hence in the melt in the residual melt they are decreasing this is fine similarly you see a trend of Na2O and K2O which to together are called as alkalis both of these show an increasing trend now why do you see this increasing trend if you remember both of these are an important constituents of alkali feldspar hence and if you now look at the Bowen's reaction series you see that alkali feldspar are crystallizing later in the magma series hence first they are getting rich in the melt see there is no absolute proportion that is increasing this is just the relative one they are relatively increasing in the melt because others are getting out okay so there is nothing as absolute which is increasing but their trend must be an increasing trend why because they are being enriched apparently they are being enriched in the melt hence they are showing this increasing trend now one more trend that is showing an interestingly decreasing trend is the calcium oxide now there is a confusion why because this calcium oxide might be present in pyroxene which is an important constituent of pyroxene and also of calcium plagioclase right now how do we classify whether this calcium oxide is getting crystallized in pyroxene or in calcium plagioclase for this we need to look at the Al2O3 or alumina diagram you see alumina diagram or this trend first shows an increasing trend and later on it crystallizes or it it is showing a decreasing trend so what do we understand by this alumina is again not increasing in absolute terms it's just that it is not crystallizing earlier it is en getting enriched in the melt first and then it is crystallizing hence showing a decreasing trend so if aluminum is showing an increasing trend or it is not crystallizing at first we can be sure that it's not the calcium plagioclase 
which is getting crystallized first so hence we know that this calcium oxide is not going in the calcium plagioclase rather it is going in the pyroxene because you see pyroxene is also crystallizing at the same time as does olivine or just after the olivine hence feo mgo and co are showing the decreasing trend now you understand why al alumina is showing an increasing and then decreasing trend because first it is getting enriched because no feldspar is being crystallized but as soon as fel feldspar starts to crystallize along with alkalis it is showing a decreasing trend so this is a very important analysis of this Harger diagram by which you can see all these important major elements or their trends how they are crystallizing in any of the magma okay now we are left with these two minor elements or sometime called as accessory minerals first is the TiO2 and second is P2O5 now these are minor they do not affect the major phase of any mineral rather they just make their own phase but they do not alter any main or f important property of any magma okay so as far as TiO2 is concerned it is showing a decreasing trend why because it is just crystallizing after everything is crystallizing as a separate phase uh, either in eliminate as a mineral eliminate or it can also be present in titanite but it will be a completely different phase P2O5 here you see it's showing in the beginning an increasing trend and later again a decreasing trend Be why because earlier it is not crystallizing and at the end it is just crystallizing along with silica and other late fo later forming minerals to form apatite it is again is present as a different phase known as apatite so this was a simple analysis of Harker diagram how do we see these trends and what do we interpret out of these I hope I made things clear to you and now we will look at a question which was asked in IIT JAM 2015 question paper of geology a very simple question now we all will be able to answer this question so here we have given we have been given these three trends of magnesium calcium oxide and alumina and we are asked about the crystallization that might be taking place by using these trends okay this is an MSQ question so more than one might be correct answer so we have just now seen that MGO is showing a decreasing trend calcium oxide is also showing a decreasing trend but in initial stages alumina does not decrease rather it increases so what might it suggest now first option is olivine crystallization we know that MGO goes in olivine along with FEO so olivine crystallization is actually taking place because MGO is showing a decreasing trend second is clinopyroxene crystallization now just now I told you that this calcium oxide decreasing trend is absolutely because of pyroxene crystallization it is not because of any feldspar why because alumina is not showing a decreasing trend along with the calcium oxide hence not a single feldspar is crystallizing at this moment only olivine and clinopyroxene are crystallizing hence the correct answer will be A and B so these type of questions you will be able to answer if you know the trends or how to interpret these trends each and every trends of Harker diagram I hope you liked the video you understood the concept stay tuned to our channel for more such videos thank you so much